It is with the most amazing and um, incredible gratitude that I have in my heart to say thank you to everyone who uh, has supported me all these years, who love what I do, supported my company, supported my business, and uh, who's watching Sisters making it the number one show and the Ovals on making it the number one show, watching House of Pain, Assisted Living, all the kids watching Young Dylan, uh, watching Ruthless on BET Plus, watching Bruh on uh, BET Plus and, and uh, all the Queens men coming up. Just all the great shows that we've got on the air and your love and support means the world to me. And I just wanna say thank you from the bottom of my heart. I also wanna say a heartfelt thank you to this show that's doing its final bow on OWN, the haves and the have nots. We had a great run over there uh, from if loving you is wrong and love thy neighbor. Well, the have and have nots, this final show is this Tuesday. And I gotta tell you, uh, from its inception, what it came to the network of OWN to do, I said I told Oprah I could do something to help you, and this show delivered. It was number one for many years. That was shut up. <laughs> Guns out, grab the key. She's coming, center. <coughs> Florida. Oh, good. All right. <laughs> and from the time we started, this incredibly talented cast to Tika Sumter and Crystal Fox and uh, John Schneider and Brene Lawless and uh, Angela Robinson and Peter Peros and Gavin Houston and Aaron O'Connell and Eva, I just, the, 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 the cast was just phenomenal. And all the other people that came along over the years, that, that was the OG cast, the original. From the time they auditioned to their faces coming in, uh, wondering if this was gonna work, wondering if these dreams were gonna come true for them, to the cast members who met other cast members and fell in love and now started a life and have kids to all of who came in there and you know bought houses and cars and your whole lives changed. I'm just grateful to you for all the hard work. My heart goes out to all of you because it was we were such a family on this show. And a lot of people say that, but we know that's true. We are family. We loved each other. We still love each other. We'll always love each other. But from my heart, Everybody who was a part of the have and have nots, every cast member, no matter what part you played, I just want you to know, I love you, I appreciate you, I'm grateful. And the fans love you too, and I'm sorry that to all the fans who love the have and have nots, I'm sorry this is the last episode, but I'm telling you, you have to see it this Tuesday. Even if you haven't watched it a long time, just tune in this Tuesday on home to watch this finale. It is crazy, crazy, crazy good. So thank you to Oprah, thank you to David Zasloff, thank you to Discovery, Tina Perry, uh, Eric over there who's no longer there, but thank you for all the years of support we have over there. I know you've gone on to do greater things. So thank you to everybody from the bottom of my heart. I love you. I appreciate you. What a memory, what a run, what a blessing, what a gift that was the foundation for us to start so much. It was my first television drama. I had so much to learn and, uh, you guys, the audience, thank you. God bless you. All right, haves and have not fans, you just saw Tyler Perry's heartfelt farewell to the haves and the have nots. And um, 196 episodes, that is no small feat. Um, you know, and I, I'm speaking positive in this video. This isn't one of those things where it's like, you know, 196 is a bit too long. No, I mean, honestly, I'm a little bit disappointed it didn't get to just 200. If it could have just hit 200, because you know, a lot of black sitcoms back in the day, you know, making it to 100 episodes was a big deal. Hell, sometimes the 100th episode would be the final episode matter of fact because part of me thinks the jamie fox show ended after 100 episodes if you could just bear with me let me google that real quick because i feel like i know the last episodes when him and fancy right it was it fancy they got married and then he sung that today is our wedding day you know that song he always sang like in every single episode of the jamie fox show but um if i could just yeah yeah 100 episodes that's right it made it to one hundred episodes and um the last episode always and forever there we go all right but um you know for me i'm a sucker for behind the scenes like documentary style stuff so to actually see footage of the auditions of the cast now 
I remember back when the OWN network had first started up, you know, because as Tyler said, the haves and the have-nots was, you know, made to help Oprah along with the likes of If Loving You Is Wrong and Love Thy Neighbor and, of course, the haves and the have-nots held the number one spot for years. And um, I know that when OWN first started, we had, like, you know, Oprah's, like, master class and, you know, a few documentaries here and there. And we, I think that was one of the most intensive Tyler Perry interviews I remember seeing you know at the time where um he talked about a lot of stuff like the haves and have nots the making of it so we probably saw that behind the scenes audition stuff back then but that was back in what like 2013 so you know that was a long time ago almost 10 years ago but um you know I think for me the finale's tonight and I know uh <laughs> it's kind of weird you know to hype it up because I feel like I've it feels like I've grown tired of the finale before the finale has even started because you all know from my perspective, I, cr I pumped out nearly 30 videos about this one episode already. So I'm ready for it to be over and that will be that. It will be over and then we could talk about it a little more. Uh, and of course, the reunion special coming up, you know, over the next two weeks, maybe that will shed some light on things like let's say there aren't conclusive elements to certain character storylines. Um, the cast might give their answer as to what would have happened. But I will say this much. Uh, I feel like it's safe to say the show is over. You know, like when I say over, I mean gone. Just over and done with. This is a wrap. I mean, it's been on for almost a decade, almost 200 episodes. Uh, you know, Tyler even took a moment to talk about how, you know, uh, during the course of the eight years, you know, some uh, cast members have found love, you know, like Tinka and Nicholas, a.k.a. Candace and Justin, uh, Mitch and Erica in real life, you know, they've gotten married. And of course, you know, uh, Tinka uh, has a daughter with uh, Nick and I don't think they're married yet. I know they're engaged, though. Um, and then, of course, you know, like buying cars and houses, everybody's kind of, you know, leveled up as a result of their uh, careers, obviously, with the haves and have-nots being such a hit. But, um... I think that this is really over. It just seems like a... I mean, you could say, well, Jeremy, just because he's given a, heart, a heartfelt farewell, yeah, that makes sense because this is a major milestone. And technically, when you look at it, this is his final hurrah with the own network. I mean, sure, yeah, the, the reunion's coming up, but in terms of, like, new projects uh that this was it you know like everything's on Viacom now so you know he even took a moment to not only thank fans for making the haves and the have nots and his previous shows of loving you is wrong and love thy neighbor be hits on own but you know he also thanked those for making sisters in the oval the number one shows on television you know on Viacom and uh then of course you know those who watch young Dylan and House of Pain, Assisted Living, and Ruthless on BET Plus, and all the Queen's Men. So, you know, obviously it's like a goodbye to this show, but then also a, hey, look out. Here's what we got on uh, Viacom right now. So, you could just tell where it's like it's a sincere thank you to those behind the scenes, in front of the camera, and of course the viewers who watch the show. But also, you know, it's the sense of, I know this sounds weird, but remember Motown 25? when the Jacksons did a medley of their old hits and then the brothers, you know, all embrace each other. And I'll never forget, like, Tito went to hug Michael, but Michael had already looked towards the crowd. So he's talking to the crowd and Tito's like, okay, I'm about to go to the back then. Never mind. <laughs> but um, Michael was like, you know, um, it was great being on stage again with all my brothers, including Jermaine, singing the hits. You know, those are some good songs, but I really love the new songs and if you go back to that like just go on youtube it's, it's, it's just say the jacksons motown 25 and when he's like the new songs everybody in the crowd saying billy jean because they know like yeah, yeah the jacksons out that's all great and good but billy jean that's what we want to hear that's kind of what i felt like when tyler was saying you know um you know uh the haves and the have nots if loving you is wrong and love thy neighbor the, the, those were some good shows but i really like how y'all are embracing the new shows the oval sisters uh, ain't nobody saying it's sister living, but that's how it feels like. It's like, guys, it's the end of the era. era. But, uh, yeah, um, this is it. And, yes, I'm well aware there is one particular behind-the-scenes moment from the finale. 
that people want me to talk about and I will do that in a separate video don't worry that's the last video I need to record actually and um, yeah I mean and this isn't out of a place of bitterness but sadly I'm not able to say I'm in my new house because of the show because you know we're viewing the show and I get paid from YouTube but uh yeah that kind of sucks but you know it is what it is um yeah I mean part of me feels a bit ew. this show lasted 196 so I'm curious to see how long shows like sisters and the oval will last especially sisters because I'm just worried about the story getting stale in some ways it already has but we'll just have to wait and see I just feel like the haves and the have nots I feel like will stand the test of time and how long how long has house of pain been on the air let me check well not how long it's been on the air but how many episodes I want to check I know that has to be like damn probably 300 or something I don't know Oh God, yeah, uh, 287 so far. Um, if you don't want to count the BET, then it was 254 when it all ended on uh, TBS. But yeah, have and have nots didn't beat that. But uh, I could be wrong, but I think haves and the have nots was what the show that lasted the second longest because I I want to say Meet the Browns didn't last that long because I know that randomly ended. Uh, let me double check. Yeah, because these were like companion shows, so Meet the Browns. That was 140, so yeah, I, I, I think I'm right. I think the haves and the have-nots is Tyler Perry's second longest running show. So yeah, that's great. All right, guys, well, that's all I have for this particular video. Uh, Gear up for the finale. Are you, you know, putting on something special to eat? I mean, for me, I just, I just wanted to be done with, and... I, I said this before, I'm just watching the haves and the have-nots tonight. The Oval can wait. I know it's uh, the comeback episode, but it's already like episode 14, and the season's only 22 episodes, so only one drama tonight, you know? That, that's really where I'm at right now, but thanks so much for tuning in. Make sure you like and subscribe. Hit the bell icon if you want to keep up with the content. Follow me on social media, and if you want to donate to the channel, feel free to do so on PayPal or Cash App. Thanks so much for tuning in, and I'll talk to you soon.